This tutorial will explain the importance of launch and receive cables on testing. Launch and receive cables are used in optical time domain reflectometer, OTDR testing, to improve the accuracy and reliability of the test results. A launch cable is a fiber optic cable that is connected to the OTDR at the near end connection, and a receive cable is a fiber optic cable that is connected to the OTDR at the far end connection. The launch and receive cables are typically made of the same type of fiber as the fiber being tested. The main purpose of the launch cable is to reduce the effects of the OTDR's launch pulse on the fiber under test, or FUT. If the FUT was connected directly to the OTDR, the reflection from that connection would create a blind spot, too much power to measure smaller events that could be present immediately after the connector. Imagine putting a small candle, a small event, in front of the sun, our OTDR reflection from the connector, and looking directly at both. Would you distinguish the candle? The OTDR launches a pulse, and the duration of the pulse translate to a length of the pulse in the fiber. A connector acts as a partial mirror, reflecting a significant amount of light back, but of course not all of it. Let's follow our light pulse and see what happens at the connector and then at a low signature event, splice for example, that will create a small attenuation. The small and weaker reflection is lost in the large reflection, creating a blind spot, as the large reflection is from the connector and small is from the splice. The green arrows represent the transmitted light and red the reflected. The launch cable essentially acts as an extension of the OTDR and helps to ensure that the OTDR measurements accurately reflect the true characteristics of the FUT being tested. The receive cable, sometimes called the tail fiber, serves three main purposes. First, it serves as a safety net by seeing the receive cable on the OTDR trace, ensures that the OTDR pulse is strong enough to characterize the entire FUT. Secondly, it serves as a reference. By adding at the end of the fiber under test, a known element, the OTDR can accurately identify the fiber end and calculate its attenuation. Finally, it serves as a measurement tool. By mating the last connector of the network to a fiber, the insertion loss and reflectance of the far end connection can be properly characterized. Overall, using launch and receive cables in OTDR testing is important because it helps to ensure accurate and reliable test results by minimizing the effects of the launch pulse and maximizing the amount of signal collected from the fiber under test.